I mean, uh, it's I'm just amazed at the uh, at the level of detail, you know, that uh, has all these events have been described. Obviously, I think they made such a huge impact on that young, impressionable mind. It's an adventure. I think you know it could easily be marketed as as an adventure book because um, it is so well written, so well described. Uh, right from the first chapter, you know, when um, young Yukes uh, and Chris get their posting orders, I mean, just starting from the fact that when they received those uh, posting orders, of course, the first few orders that were read out to them were, were, were the wrong ones, meant for other people. Um, but then ultimately, that journey, that first journey from Pune to uh, Hathiwadi, you know, just makes you want to read read the whole book because it just opens up you know the possibilities and you just want to know more and more and uh, as Arvind you were saying that uh, the first uh, their welcome into that into that first um, posting was to be told that you know the previous doctor basically had had become insane um, which uh, I think for a young person has been quite quite a shock to, to be told something like that you know, I've known Chris in his other uh, avatars as a very, very distinguished hematologist, oncologist, as an expert who served on many uh, both national and international advisory committees, as an author of uh, scientific articles, as a, of course, as a classmate and as a friend. Um, but this book, you know, uh, made, makes us all realize how many hidden talents there are and I don't know if it was the pandemic uh, Chris that sort of gave you that added impetus uh, to finish it and have it published I think a lot of people have had time to to reflect all of us I think have been impacted by the pandemic in one way or the other and it's uh, it's just brought out I think the importance of certain very fundamental things in life like just you know learning to to live each day live each day and do the things that you like and you always want to do uh, and and also the importance of family and friends and, and colleagues and all the people that are in your life you know you take a lot for granted but i think the pandemic makes us uh, sit back and, and really think about what what do you value uh, what do you truly value uh, in life and whom do you value and how do you show that so I, I do think that uh, it, I'm sure it had something to do with uh, with the book coming out at this at this time. But I think it's also uh, we need we need laughter in our lives as well. And and one thing this book does make you do is is smile and chortle and at times you know break into into peals of laughter as as you read through it. So even though it's all true, it's so beautifully told. Uh, with so much of humor, but you can also feel the life uh, that th these young people had uh, at that time. I, of course, left AFMC right after my, uh, I did my internship in the in the base hospital in uh, in Delhi, and I can, uh, I got a glimpse into what an army life could be like, but I left very soon uh, after that and went on with uh, my MD and, uh, and, and other things. So it's only through uh, my friends uh, in AFMC who stayed on in the army that one has experienced vicariously army life and the, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, the good and bad uh, that, that go with it as Arvind was, was also describing. And I think it's also what you make of it. Um, opportunities come your way and then what you make of them, I think is what, uh, what finds everybody's life. So um, I was so delighted also to be asked by Chris to write a few words. Uh, I don't think I in any way deserve that, uh, that honor. Uh, but I've over the last two years really uh, come to know many of our classmates much better because the way we are connected um, virtually and the fact that there are so many hidden talents. And I hope you, that your book is also going to come out. I'm sure you have uh, you have as many, uh, maybe it's going to be a book on birds <laughs> of, of every kind, but uh, we expect that uh, from you as well. So uh, 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris, for inviting me to say a few words. Uh, again, I don't uh, in any way deserve to be uh, in this uh, room talking about it. I think you've done all the hard work. Um, but it's, uh, it's really something that I would recommend for people to read, both who've experienced, but more importantly, those who've not experienced uh, army life. And I, I, I agree with uh, Arvind that you deserve uh, um, an honor, some kind of a medal from the Army Medical Corps, because after reading this book, I'm sure there'll be many more young people who really want to be part of this adventure. Thank you and all the best. And also I, I want to appreciate your uh, your vision and your uh, uh, when you wrote the book and you know you decided to to publish it and uh, and sell it the fact that you want to use the proceeds you know to to provide a scholarship for uh, a child of, uh, of some army um, uh, NCO who's been martyred um, I think also speaks volumes to to your compassionate heart so so thank you so much for, for writing the book for all of us you're bringing pleasure to many many people uh, both your friends and, and those who have not known and um, yeah it would be wonderful if you won a Pulitzer Prize but certainly you, you are you are going to get some uh, army prize thank you, thank you. Thank you.